Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how you can recreate this flat twisted frohawk. So I'm starting off on a fresh twist out. I use the Caravata Super Ego as well as their Cream Brulee to create this twist out. Now I'm just going to use the Super Ego oil just to moisturize my hair and reduce the frizz. This is like the key factor in achieving the best twist out. Frohawk is going to call for a lot, a lot of volume. So I'm going to go ahead and mess up my parts. This is not even like a technique. I just really, really like to have really, really big and fluffy hair. So I'm just going to go ahead and add that volume. Just you can either pick your hair or just pull apart the twist, which you guys will see later. So this is going to be our base, our twist out. Now I'm just going to figure out how much of my hair I want to twist up into my frohawk shape and I'm doing maybe like three by three squares going up on the sides. I'm just gonna put three flat twists on each side. Now that I've defined my sections, I'm gonna go ahead and define three separate parts. I'm gonna do sort of medium small size twists and I'm just gonna use my cream brulee. It has a really, really nice hold for these twists and it's also moisturizing. I find that gels will kind of make your hair a little bit crunchy so I like to use my cream brulee since it is a cream and it's very very moisturizing but it also gives me that nice strong hold that I need. For the flat twist I'm pretty much doing two strand twists and you're just adding in here sort of like a cornrow braid you're just going to start off with two sections and you're just going to twist those and like I said add a small little slither of hair as you go. I promise you guys this is not as hard as it seems. It's super super easy. Just think of it as a cornrow. I'm just going to continue my way on up and I'm just going to stop towards the middle of my head so like the crown of my head that way I can build up that volume and height towards the middle of my hair which is going to give the illusion of the frohawk and give the rest of my hair a place and base to lay. And I'm just going to repeat the same exact steps on the opposite side, sort of kind of trying to make it as identical as possible to the left side. It may not be perfect, but I promise you guys it will look great towards the end. Don't worry and stress too hard about making your parts identical on each side as your hair is going to be really, really poofy and full anyway, so you're not going to really see the defined parts anyway. almost done now if you like it this way you can leave your hair defined and really really curly I like my hair to be much more voluminous and big and poofy and less defined so I'm just gonna go ahead and take each curl and separate them really really carefully I don't want to add too too much frizz and have really really stale old looking hair so I'm just going to use a little bit of my super ego oil to help me with this separating process and like I said this is going to give you a lot of body and volume and height to your hair and after that you're pretty much done so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and let me know in the comments below what you think of the hairstyle and what brands or moisturizers are you feeling this winter so I can check them out as well I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one